also learning more information tonight about the man who went on a rampage Wednesday shooting up cars and homes. Daniel Blackman is accused of shooting three people before taking aim at police. This was a frightening situation. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez is live in Blount County where the shooting rampage happened. And Matt, you talked to Blackman's father today. Yeah, we're back at the intersection where everything happened yesterday. U US 278 and Highway 79. This is where several cars were shot at by the law enforcement said, and then he later died up the road, the suspect. I spoke with the suspect's father. He said his son was dealing with several issues. I don't know what he was thinking. Randy Blackman said his son lived in Gunnersville and owned a trucking company there. He says he noticed a change in his son's behavior after he was diagnosed with hemochromatosis, a blood disorder, in January. Blackman says doctors told Daniel if he didn't get special treatment, he wouldn't live long. See that he every day he something's bothering him and he is easier to uh, to get uh, to fly off a handle now at nothing. Blackman was concerned for his son's safety and called law enforcement. To the sheriff's office three weeks ago, and had the sheriff to pick him up and put him in the hospital to evaluate him, and uh, they uh, found out he is uh, was bipolar one. They called it. Blackman says he wanted to keep his son in the hospital for long-term help, but a judge ruled Daniel could be released. We didn't get to uh, present any kind of case or anything. The lawyers talked to each other and decided what they were going to do. And instead of putting him in a hospital or anything, they put him on a 150-day probation. So this has been less than three weeks. Blackman said recently his son said he saw visions of demons. When he's telling me about the demons, he said that he went to Gadsden the night before, and that uh, he said the demons killed a guy on 278. And I said, how, how did they do this? And he said, uh, that they, they meant to do it to me. And the State Bureau of Investigation is continuing that investigation into the officer involved shooting yesterday. Reporting live in Blount County, Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News.